Good morning, students. My name is Dr. Lauren Miller, and I'm going to be your professor for Statistics 1100. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you all over the course of the semester. I just wanted to go ahead and introduce myself. So I'm about to start my second year as a faculty member at St. Louis University, but I've adjuncted here um, for many years, and this will be my ninth time teaching this course. This is actually one of my favorite courses to teach, so I'm really excited to get to introduce statistics with all of you guys. Um, a couple things to know is that I am not from St. Louis. I moved here seven years ago. I'm originally from Wisconsin. I like to sew. Um, I have a cat named Bobby, who I'm sure you will hear in a lot of the recorded videos. Um, and I love to cook. So I'll be introducing myself, of course, on the discussion board with all of you guys. But I wanted to give you guys a quick hello. This is my face and my voice um, and show you guys how to navigate our Blackboard course. So let's take a look at that. So when you log into MySLU, you're going to want to go to Tools. And from Tools, you'll see you've got all these different things you can uh, use. Um, next semester, we're going to Canvas, but our course is on Blackboard. So if you go to Blackboard, it's going to have you go ahead and sign in. And of course, it's going to have me text message myself, I'm sure. Right? Double verification. <laughs> So much fun. So you'll get a text message and then you'll enter the code. Typically you do not share this code with anybody, but it's just for you guys. All right, so then I'm able to sign into Blackboard. So then you go to your course, which is Stats 1100. And there's a couple things I want you to do first. So the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read the syllabus. After you read the syllabus, you're going to want to sign up for My Math Lab. These are our My Math Lab instructions. That's where all of our homework and exams will be done. I'd also like you to complete um, this Getting to Know You survey and our office hour selection poll. So select every office hour that's possible that you guys can attend, um, and that's going to help you decide what our office hours are going to be. Here's a link to our class YouTube playlist. Let me show you that. So you go here to YouTube and I've made all these videos for you guys. All the videos from the entire semester are posted. There's 60 videos um, covering every chapter. And if you need any additional resources ever, just let me know and I'll be able to help you with that. As I said, all of our homework is done through my math lab. Here's where you can get all signed up. When you sign up, you do have to pay to register to get the e-textbook and I would definitely recommend um, purchasing it through Pearson. So let's go back to our home page and our class is if you read the syllabus is broken down into projects um, so take a look through those projects there's a project every couple chapters i've also put them in our course modules so here's chapter one i give you a pdf of the powerpoint um, some examples of non-medical experiments you're going to want to watch the videos and then join uh, and then complete um, the mini project and um, introduce yourself. So feel free to go around and explore. If you have any questions, the place to ask those questions would be our, oh no, would be our class Q&A. You can also always send me an email. I'm actually probably just gonna start a group email for this class because it's a pretty small enrolled class so we could have like a group email chat. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what our class looks like. If you have any questions about the syllabus, please let me know. So I did want to go ahead and go over the syllabus briefly. Um, this class is going to meet online asynchronously. Um, here's my email address if you need it. Um, our office hours are going to be decided via Zoom, or, uh, given via Zoom, and you guys get to pick uh, by filling out that doodle poll I mentioned earlier. For this class, you're going to need my Stat Lab online access, a calculator, and a notebook. I definitely recommend taking notes while you're watching the lectures. You do not need to buy the physical textbook, as my Math Lab comes with an online e-textbook. Um, if you do want a physical textbook, you can get an older edition than the fifth edition for pretty inexpensive on Amazon. So, 
In this class, we're going to work to prepare you to understand articles and basic statistics in future classes for your major. That's like our main goal, to be able to understand the statistics in research articles. So in these online lectures, we're going to go over PowerPoint presentations, work through examples. Um, it is your responsibility to read through the textbook. I think our textbook is really, really easy to read. That's why um, it was selected. In my math lab, each reading has a reading quiz of two to four questions. There's also projects, which are a significant portion of the class. There are seven projects. The homework is the best way to practice your skills in this online math lab. And there you have three quests. They're in between a quiz and a test, and you will have three attempts at each exam online, and they are untimed. And then we have our final cumulative exam um, that you also have three attempts on as well. So this class is out of 1,000 points. I like to say, like, OK, you collect 900 points. You've got an A minus. You collect uh, 950 points. You have an A. Um, the homework is 20% of your grade. Um, uh, projects are 28% of your grade. Article reports 10%. Our discussion boards and that mini project, just a few points there. Um, our final exam is only 10% of your grade, and your exam is only 27%. So that should add up to 1,000 points if I did my math correctly. Here's our grading scale. This is the standard SLU grading scale. And in this text, we are covering chapters 1 through 10 in their entirety. I'll give you time to read through the student learning outcomes. If you need help, always reach out to me. Um, tutoring is going to be provided by the department. I'll be sharing information about that soon. Here's a couple additional web resources that are really, really helpful. This class is asynchronous, so we don't need to know about attendance. But one thing I did want to share with you guys is if you have a learning disability, um, you can reach out to disability services. We can give you testing accommodations and things like that. I also really like um, the Student Success Center. If you Google that, like SLU Student Success Center, oh, there's a link right here. Um, they have access to academic tutoring um, and tools to help you really succeed in college. Um, and then in this class, you write a little bit, but not a ton. If you want, take advantage of university writing services. They're great. When I was getting my doctorate, I swear, I went to um, the tutoring center for writing, because I'm a math major, you know, I wasn't a born writer. I would go there two hours a week, and now I feel like I'm a really good writer. So can't recommend university writing services enough. Here is our course schedule. So this week we're going to cover chapter one. Next week we're going to chapter chapter two and project one will be due um, and so on. Um, so here's our course schedule. If you have any questions with that about the syllabus or the course layout in general, please let me know. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all over the course of the semester. So as I mentioned in a couple of my YouTube videos, you're probably going to hear my cat Bobby. She's a big talker. She likes to help me work, but she's not as helpful as she thinks she is. Um, it's important to note she's a truffle pob cat, so she doesn't have a tail, um, but she will still sit on all of your homework. She and I are working to get used to this new technology together, and maybe you'll get to meet her uh, someday. <laughs>